First of all, it's really nice to meet you. Oh, thank you very much. Um, I wanted to just start with what drew you to this particular project? Uh, ooh. Um, I mean, I've always been a huge Charles Dickens fan. I've always felt that adaptations of his work are almost like too reverential of the story. They just want to tell the story. Whereas, in fact, when you read a Dickens novel, it's about the language and the, the comedy yeah. and the warmth and the humanity of it and his enjoyment in describing things and and the kind of the idiosyncrasies and the the behavior uh, and it felt very modern as well it's a very modern story about just where do you fit in in the world and with your friends and and you know fear of being found out and all a lot of the kind of the anxieties that people carry with them in, in modern life and also you know about riches and poverty and debt and homelessness and so all of that and I I just felt I wanted to sh to, to, to make it a movie that felt funny and, and fresh and, and, and lively and energetic, really. Yeah, and you did. It was an amazing movie. Oh, thank you. Um, and that takes us to, did you grow up with Dickens and particularly the story with Copperfield? A little bit Copperfield. No, the first Dickens I read, I was uh, from the age of about 13, 14, I would read sort of Great Expectations and then Oliver Twist. And, but, um, I, uh, and, and I, what instinctively drew me to him was his enjoyment you know his his not being afraid to write entertainment not write to write books that are popular he, he loved a big audience and then once he had that stage to be able to talk to them about you know big issues like like poverty and the poor law and factory conditions and so on but 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 so, so to get an entire kind of population talking about them you mm. know so the legislation was actually brought in to change some of these conditions so writing for a purpose while at the same time being entertaining and that I have always found uh, an inspiration really. That's amazing. So the cast is a reflection of London today yeah but it was set in the 19 the, sorry, 1840, the 1840s yeah. yeah so how important was that for you? Well it was doing that both you know recreating the look of 1840s England as, as accurately as possible and actually it shouldn't be dowdy and dusty because it's their present day mm. for them so it should be clean and bright and they wore these colorful clothes and they had mad hairstyles and, and all sorts of things so it was getting that but as you say also getting a, a kind of a sense of that world being uh, almost like contemporary and therefore the audience coming to the film should see a reflection of themselves as well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and it's about also, I think, celebrating what I think of as Britain today, which, you know, given the Brexit debate, is in danger of sounding quite isolationist and, and uh, in, inward looking. Whereas, in fact, I think a lot of people find Britain as a kind of open, friendly, welcoming, creative, bustling, exciting place and I kind of wanted to celebrate that really.